Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Pranit Raj Kanakam. In this video, we are going to see a very interesting and a very exciting topic. Do babies see the world upside down? Before going into this topic, we should have some brief idea of what is happening in our eyes. So, first we will discuss how the images are captured in the eyes and how these images are processed in the brain. Don't worry, I will explain it in a very simple terms. Our eyes is a very important sensory organ to us. It helps us to read books, to watch films, to do our day-to-day -day life activities and most importantly, it helps us to enjoy the beautiful nature around us. The principle by which our eyes as well as the camera, be it the analog camera or the digital camera, the working of both are almost the same. It was in the 17th century, Descartes, a French scientist and a philosopher. He proved that the images captured by our eyes are actually inverted images. In his experiment, he used the eye of a dead cow. He first removed the eyes of the cow and made the required setup for his experiment. He observed that the image that appeared on the screen placed on the back of the eye is an inverted image. Cameras also work on a similar principle. So, the images captured by your cameras are inverted images. So, why do the image captured on the Descartes experiment gets inverted? Or, why do the image captured by your eyes gets inverted? This is due to refraction. Refraction is nothing but the bending of light when light rays enters from one medium to another medium. We will see a very simple example. A glass filled with water and a pencil half submerged in it. The pencil appeared to be bent. Here in this case, the light rays travels from one medium, that is the water, to another medium, air. This caused the bending effect. Similarly, in our eyes too, the similar thing happens. The light rays enters from the air and it enters into our eye. And this causes refraction. The major part of the refraction occurs in cornea of the eye. Then, the light is again refracted in the lens. As a result of this, the image gets inverted. Cameras, convex lens, also invert the images and this is again due to refraction. In analog cameras, the inverted image is projected onto a film. In digital cameras, the image is projected onto a sensor. And in case of our eyes, the image is projected onto a light sensitive layer called the retina. In case of human eyes, when the light hits the light sensitive membrane called the retina, signals are produced. These signals are transmitted to the brain. For our brain, all these images are nothing but signals. The brain processes these signals and gives us a non inverted version of the image. So, in simple words, the brain flips the image again. So, there are two inversions. One that is due to eye, the another one is due to the brain. So, this is the reason why we are able to see a non united version of the image. Though, eye acts as a sensor in receiving the image. We see things based on how the brain processes the signals. Now, we will come to our topic, do babies see an upside down world and the answer lies in the development of brain. In case of us, our brain has learnt the ability to flip the image. But in case of babies, it is believed that at least for few initial images or for few initial period, the brain or the baby haven't learnt the ability to flip the image. And this is the reason why it is believed that the baby see an upside down image of the world. Though, there hasn't been any strong proof to support this claim. There is also a case reported where the particular case or a person sees things upside down. This is due to the way in which the brain processes the signals. Though our eyes acts as a sensor in getting the images, it is our brain that processes the signals. And we see things based on how the brain interprets those signals. So, we see things through our brain. This holds true not only for the images that we see but also for our other senses like touch, taste and sound. In this video, we have seen some interesting effects of refraction that is happening in our eyes. 
If you know or seen any other interesting effects of refraction, please leave them down in comments. The main goal of our channel is to make science more fun by relating stuff that we see or hear in our life. If you like our videos, please share it with your friends and also subscribe to our channel. Soon we'll meet with another interesting video. For now, this is signing off. Pranitraj Kanakam. See you guys.